What's up, guys? New episode of Chicklets University. We're here, Amherst, Massachusetts, at the Mullen Center, University of Massachusetts, what some people are calling the nicest college hockey facilities in North America. We got Taylor McCarr, Colorado Avalanche draft pick. Let's go check out these unbelievable facilities. Starting off this main area, I guess. All the guys spend a lot of time here, play a lot of Xbox, guys. You can play out. Xbox on oh, this yeah. TV. What about this ping pong table here? Oh. Games getting tense? Yeah, we got some heated games on here. Kenny Connors is pretty good. Our new freshman goalie, Michael Harabel. Is that the kid that's like 6'7"? Six, six, seven? Seven. Yeah, he I heard is. he's incredible. Oh, he's got the angle on everyone too when he plays ping pong. Oh, we got a little kitchen over here? Yeah, we got a little kitchen. How does food work? Do you just come here, set up shop for breakfast, and then kind of fend for yourself for lunch and dinner? Yeah, so a lot of guys get like pretty much unlimited swipes around campus. So uh, they'll go whatever dining hall, anytime, any place, they get unlimited swipes and they'll just get some food. So yeah, we yeah, got that Burke dining, dining hall though. So good. They got like the sushi set up, they got like the make your own pizza, the ice cream at the end. Yeah. It's... Burke delivers dinner after, after practice on Mondays and Wednesdays. No way. Yeah. Pretty great. Dude, we'll have... just walk in here after workout. It's all laid out for us. Like buffet style? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What's this? This is cool. This is the first place everyone comes. You come to your own stall here. Take this, has all your stuff on it. Click it on, click it off. Once it's sweaty, click it, throw it in there. Gets washed. Jesus. So we're really lucky to have our stuff washed. Oh yeah, right when you get in here, you throw your phone in here? Yeah. So no phones, in is that a coach's rule? Uh, not really, just kind of a team rule. So the boys get to get connected, stuff like that. It, so you say team rule, who makes that rule? The captains? Kind of just integrity, like, okay. just do it. Hey. So yeah. That's some new mask except right for the, there. Yeah, except for the ox guy. The ox guy gets to do yeah. it. So Who's ox guy? Me. Talk about the recruiting process. We mainly talked to Benny Barr and Jared DeMichael at the time when they were here. Great um, recruiters, right? Yeah, unbelievable. Great, great people. Still kind of family friends with them, so uh, made good connections there. But just started juniors and kind of they were interested in me. And then I took a visit, and Kale was obviously here at the same time. So I just saw everything that they did here it was great loved it the student section at the games when i went to go to a game was like the mall it the gets crazy ever. in there doesn't it, was it? nuts here, oh, here they come again back inside score us this is I mean, let's check this out this yeah. is incredible this is where it all is This has to be the nicest locker room I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty clean. There's no smell. No, yeah, so a lot of people say that when they come in here because we got little fans underneath stall, the stalls here that <laughs> when, whatever your equipment's there just sucks it up and puts it out somewhere, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Man, again, and like the attention to detail, like the Massachusetts uh, on, the, on the chair here. I'm guessing this opens up here. Yep, absolutely. I mean, oh, this someone's is... got the roller blades in there. Oh, they got the blade. They're blading game. around campus. They got the blades in here. <laughs> Love that. You guys roll blade around campus a lot? In the in the spring, yeah, we do. It's pretty fun. I feel like this is a great campus to do that. You can just bomb it downhill oh, too, yeah. like it's on a right on the hill, so it's good. So this is your stall here, huh? Yeah, right here. Got my little secret honey sauce here. Ooh, let's let's pull out the secret honey sauce. What is this? What do you use this for? I just like it during games. I think it helps with my legs, like a little lactic acid, something like that. You just squirt it in your mouth? Put a, I put on like a little stinger cookie. I don't know, like a honey stinger cookie, and then yeah, got some little icy cold for the legs and stuff, but yeah, just the bag goes under here. I'm religious with this thing. I love it. The roller? Roller. Yep. 13 NHL draft picks. Yep. That's the most in the country, right? I believe so, yeah. What, I mean, is that due to the transfer portal? Do you think that's due to the national championship a couple of years ago? Like, what, what is it attracting so many NHL draft picks to come here? Or are these guys getting drafted like after their freshman year here? Like, what, what is that? I think it's the production of players at the school here. We're producing pro players, so yeah. I think the way it's Carvel coaches and the assistant coaches, how they coach, 
we're coming in. You come into this facility, ice is open over there 24-7. You get to do whatever. It's uh, It aligns you with the NHL, so I think people see that. Is it a smart board? You can just draw yep, it here, draw right? on it. Carbo might punch me in the face for doing this. We'll never erase that, I guess. <laughs> The, no, stick rack, the, the stick rack, the stick rack too, right when you walk in, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. CCM sponsors. CCM. Cool. Yeah, it looks like a lot of guys like the jet speed. I Where like the, where's the Macar stick? Right here. You lefty like, or righty? Lefty. I like the rib core. Not bad. You don't have any superstition with losers touching your stick, do you? No, nothing. Okay, good, because <laughs> I'm a fucking loser. There's a couple guys that are pretty superstitious, like you can't touch their stick. Cameron, can I touch his? Yeah, touch that guy's stick. Look at this <laughs> hook, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that thing's a weapon. Oh my god. I mean, look at that thing, dude. I might have to try this out in practice today. Who's a guy that will not let you touch his stick? Uh, it's very superstitious. 16, Adar Suniev, I think. I'll touch it right now, but on a game day, I don't think you can touch this guy's stick. He, he's got like 20 in his stall, too. How many do they give you a year? Uh, just whenever you break one, you just go get one, so. Nice life. Look at this. Yeah. What year is this from? This is, uh, I think it's 2019. Through the video room, we always, we have a bunch of standards on our team. That's kind of what we live by. Yeah, no, you mean Mike? Yeah, Mike. Mike is. Hi, Mike. Yeah, the Mike. Big supporter of college hockey, so we're a big fan. We, we all listen to Spit and Chicklet, so welcome to have you here, Mike. Thank you. Uh, we have, I think we have something for you, right? Yeah. yeah, true. yeah. yeah come on off. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, big fan of the show. Um, figured I'd make you a pair of shoes, so. A pair of shoes? Oh, yeah. A little Spit and Chicklet's custom shoes for you. Oh, my God. Let's go. Couple clicks, couple <laughs> clicks. Look at these things. That's awesome. Thank you, boys. I've been waiting two years to get a pair. I haven't got it. <laughs> As a recruit, if you're walking through here, kind of seeing the history, the history of winning, this, this right here, which I Car Carvel told uh, on the podcast about the lock arms. Yeah. We do this thing on our team, it's called link up. You do it once at the start of the season, and then we basically work towards the end of the season once we you know, get a championship or in a championship game, earn something like that, then we link up again. So you win Hockey East, you link up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's pretty special to our team, just shows uh, the bond we have and stuff. So is that kind of what the goal is when you, like at the beginning of the year, like we're going to link up at the end of the season? Yeah, absolutely. And then this guy, this this ugly guy yeah, here. Yeah, brutal. I didn't want to shave for that pick. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, something really cool that happened in the program, he got the Hobie Baker Award. So is that the first Hobie Baker for UMass? Yes, sir. Which is obviously great recognition for the program, and I think it just shows how much work they put in here. And Obviously, it wasn't just him, it was the rest of the team, so it's pretty cool to see that uh, this program was able to get that. How's the alumni here? Do guys like Connor Sheary, Jonathan Quick, are they coming by? We actually have like a huge alumni program, so every player gets an alumni, and they, they're they kind of like mentor us. Oh, can, really? Yeah, like I text mine all the time. What do we got here? We got the practice facility here. This is open pretty much whenever we want. Like, really? guys will do skills. You can put on half gear, uh, stuff like that. So you're saying in between classes, you got, you got two hours, you can jump on the ice and just shoot some pucks? Absolutely. Attached to our practice rink here is the, the man's office. Oh my Josh gosh. 10, yeah. Let's go check this out. You don't have to give me a name, but in all your years of being an equipment manager, what was like the most wild request you got? Kale had a crazy profile on his skates, which made no sense. But and especially he had a very shallow hollow. Did he explain why he liked it like that? No, I don't think he even knew. <laughs> like it was just, you know, we would mess around with the profile and I'd be like, let's let's work it out as this feel. Mm, it's too much blade. So he had very little blade on the ice and he had a very shallow hollow. 
which is kind of counterintuitive. Yeah. Usually the more blade, you'd have a shallow hollow because it kind of compensates. But I'm the guy's like a world-class skater. Who was I to tell him? You can't question a guy like, like him. You can, you can question him. Yeah, sure. Okay. We, can, I, we can't question <laughs> him. This feels good. I'll, oh, hey, go do your thing. Yeah. So we do have a little surprise for you. Uh, our friends at Blade Tech Hockey, they make custom blades. So they made some UMass plates for you guys. Look at that. Nice. Flex sports advantage, play faster, play longer with Blade Tech. All right, check out the gym next. Yep, absolutely. We spend a lot of time in here, getting stronger. Our whole summer is basically in here. So kind of walk me through though, like the workout routine. Is it, are you coming in here solo? Are you doing team lifts? Your trainer over here, like, is he giving you guys each specific workouts to do? Kind of how does that all work? Every single day you'll come in, whatever like you need, you do. And then we get a sheet of stretches to do. Before we hop on the ice, just do a dynamic warm up. Everyone knows it. And then right after that practice, we come in and we get straight to workout. I mean, these facilities, they're incredible. These are like nothing I would compare to cross country. Like, this is unbelievable. The fact that this is just our space for hockey and like like you see it everywhere hockey logos are, are all over the place and it's fantastic this the fact that the guys can come in here at, at any point are you telling them what they need to work on like you like he's taylor said i need to get bigger on the bench is that coming from you or is he being or is it like him being like i need telling come to you being like i need to get bigger it's kind of a combination of everything right like so like he knows how the how he plays best and the the physical aspect that he needs but then i have the understanding of like how do we actually go about accomplishing okay. That wraps it up. Another episode of Chicklets University in the books. Shout out to Taylor McCarr. Shout out to the University of Massachusetts. Shout out to the Mullen Center. I think it's safe to say nicest facilities in college hockey. You said it, not me. I said it, not him. Thanks again.